Okay, today we're going to look at uh, HJ split and free byte to split large files. And today we're going to split this large file, which is about uh, 19 megabytes. Let's say you have uh, you want to send it to a friend, uh, and uh, it doesn't fit in your doesn't fit as an attachment. So let's see how to do that. So we're going to use HGC split and we're going to split the file. So we're going to click on split and then of course there's a pop-up window where it asks you for the input file and the output uh, uh, folder, sorry, the input file and of course where to output. This is the section for the size. It's in kilobits, the file size is small. Uh, and then we have the megabytes, which you're more interested in. So I'll click on megabytes. I'm going to split this in, let's say, five megabytes size files. So we expect at least uh, four to five files, right? Let's input the file. Let's choose it. And then we go to the desktop. And here we have the attachment folder. Click open. Normally, what happens is that the output folder is the same. Let's say you don't want that to be the case, then you can change it. Click there, and then you choose where you want it. Of course, I'm going to leave it there for this tutorial. And then you click Start. It goes through the working process. And voila, it's finished. Okay, it's finished. So, how many files do we have? Okay, let's close this. Here are the splitted files. As you can see, there are four. The first one is named zip001, and then 002, 3, and 4. So this file was split into four other files. Now let's see the other person receives it now. Of course, we need the other person needs HG split to join them, and it comes in handy here to join the file. So click join, and again it asks, it asks us for the input file. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna join them in the same desktop. So I'm gonna delete the original file. Your other friend won't have this attachment, so you don't have to. He doesn't have to do this. So I'm gonna delete it, and then um, I'm gonna choose the the file. Normally, it, by by default, it will only show the first file. Okay, so you click open, and of course, it's gonna join on the same um, as the input folder. So you click start, and it's working. It's working. Voila, joined it, and here it is. Very simple, nothing complicated. Okay, so that ends the tutorial. You can check, you can do the checksum to check whether the validity of the file, compare the file, and stuff like that. You can do that, I think. Okay, so basically, check the check the extra download information from the link provided. Okay. Thank you for watching this tutorial.